Good evening fellow foodies, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another food review. Now let's have a look at what we've got today. So today guys we've got some Piccolino spicy meat pizza from Iceland. Three pounds or two for five pounds. I've never tried this range before and I'll see you at the table. Hello fellow foodies, good evening and welcome back to the food review, welcome back to the table, we've got some Piccolino, I think that's right, I, it looks like a butcherable word which I'm probably going to get it wrong anyway, so we're going to call it Piccolino, we've got some pizza here and this is the spicy meaty pizza from their range from Iceland, £3 like I've mentioned, 2 for £5, wow, um, a big thank you and a shout out to Bluebird. Um, yeah, he basically suggested this in the comments for me to do a pizza. It did say cheese and ham, but he also mentioned about the spicy meat pizza. I couldn't get the cheese and ham, I'm afraid, mate. It just wasn't in my Iceland, so I really do apologise. But, however, we're back with a pizza video. And, yeah, I've never tried this range. I've seen it in Iceland a lot. It looks very good, I mean very appealing, I mean fantastic packaging and like advertisement. But yeah, the main deal here is the pizza. As you know, I'm a massive fan of pizzas, look at that one. It does look a little different, it looks a little bit fancier. A little bit fancier to all the other pizzas I have, like the Asda pizzas, Chicago Towns, all sorts of pizzas I've eaten so far, and this one here looks very, very good. Now, I've got the package in here, here we are, if you've not seen it before, this is exactly what it looks like. A few instructions for the cooking, um, yeah, basically 200, um, 200 degrees, fan oven, 200 Celsius, whatever, 15 minutes in the oven. Like any pizza, I don't really go by cooking instructions, I sort of just look at the pizza itself, if it's golden brown, I just take it out. So yeah, lovely bit of packaging here, it even says restaurant quality, now I'm expecting a massively massively, oh, whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I've got high expectations now, that's what I'm trying to say. I've got high expectations by this pizza. Restaurant quality. Uh, let me give you guys some sort of description as to what's in this pizza. I can't wait to butcher this description, just like I butcher the name of the product, Piccolino. Hope I got that right. Spicy meat pizza. Traditional wood fire stone baked pizza topped with mozzarella cheese, Classic tomato sauce, smoky salami, spicy unduja sausage, and seasoned tomatoes. I don't actually think that was that bad. But hopefully I said that right. Yeah, I'm really excited. Let's not waste any time, guys. And uh, let's get into the first bite of this pizza. So, first impressions. Looks like an absolutely fantastic slice of pizza, that one. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful, that. Crust looks absolutely magnificent. Appearance looks great. A lot of oil going on here from the salami, the cheese, all the meats. And let's have a taste of this bad boy. Salami, pepperoni. It tastes fantastic. You get a little kick as well of heat. And it's mega, mega cheesy. The textures are literally amazing. Mmm. You know what, I like it when there's a pizza with a load of cheese on it. If it's slightly short of cheese, it goes down in value in my in my opinion. This has got plenty of cheese. Let's have a bite of the crust. Crust is nice and crispy. Really, really crispy. The base is absolutely fantastic. Everything on this pizza is actually really, really good. It, it, it feels like it's a real high quality pizza. And they're selling it at sort of like a budget price. I mean, £3 for one pizza is absolutely nothing. And you also get that feel that it is a little bit more than just a normal pizza. Taste of the rich tomatoes on the base. You know what, if I, if I had one criticism with this meaty pizza, I wish there was a lot more meat on it. You've got some salami in there, you've got some um, sausage, but I think it needs a little bit more meat if I could 
if I could change it. Thank you very much for everybody watching my uh, videos recently. I appreciate every single one of you. Absolutely amazing. If you've got a comment, anything, just write it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Also, thank you very much to Bluebird who actually gave me this suggestion. Oh, this is a fantastic piece of money. Absolutely amazing pizza. Honestly, if I could, I would eat a whole of this pizza. It's absolutely fantastic. All the flavours, so rich and tomatoey. But actually, I'm going to give half of this pizza to Shan because, you know, she needs some dinner of some sort. Have an absolute mare today. I thought, you know what, I'm going to wake up. It's Sunday, 10 o'clock, so the shop's open a little bit later. I thought, you know what, I'm going to skip breakfast for now, actually. I'm going to skip breakfast. I had two pints of water and a coffee because I knew I was going to have this pizza around dinner time. So I thought, fantastic. Went out into the shops. Oh my god, I needed a wee wee. I needed a wee wee. There was no toilets in sight. I had to sort of abandon my mission to track down this pizza. Bomb it off to Asda and luckily there was a toilet open. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was almost at panic stations there. I really like the fact there's a nice big kick. I mean, in a lot of spicy meat pizzas, there's not much of spice going on. But you do actually get quite a lot. Um... It's talking of spice, actually. Next week, me and Shannon are going to be taking on this scary spicy curry, the one I tried to track down but couldn't get hold of. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm not going to burn my mouth off on it. I think I might succeed, but that's been a bit ambitious. I have one final bite of this pizza, and then I'm going to do a little roundup and verdict of as to what I think this is really like. Wow. This pizza is absolutely incredible. I really do recommend you go and try this range. They have all sorts of stuff there, not just pizzas. They have like um, lasagnas, pastas, flatbreads, all sorts of stuff. I am going to review some more of this range um, as of, you know, in the future because this is absolutely incredible. There's the lovely pizza. But yeah, honestly... Absolutely great stuff. If I could give a verdict on this pizza, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. It would have been a solid 10 if it had more meat on the pizza. But take that away. It's a fantastic pizza for £3. And you get two for £5 as well. And that's an absolute bargain. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been a Piccolino. Hope I haven't butchered it. Spicy meat pizza. Join me next week. Unfortunately, there's going to be no more videos for four days as I've got to go to work absolute downer but yeah apart from that guys um yeah thank, thank you so much for all your views subscriptions and if you're brand new please do subscribe i will see you guys next week now see you guys on friday and yeah thanks a lot for watching take care